Hi guys, my name is Joe and this is Fighting Words, the martial arts library. And I typically cover martial arts book reviews and talk about other martial arts related topics. Today, because I'm excited about it, you guys are going to get to see me play a game called Hellish Court. Hellish Court is still in development. You can play several duels. Uh, they have some pretty cool features to it. Uh, it is a sword fighting game. It appears that it will be set in the uh, Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth during the 17th century. There is a story mode. Right now, it's pretty much only a cutscene. <laughs> Mostly what I've been doing is going into the training and fighting areas. So let's take a look at some of that. So here, it's in practice mode, so it's not giving you the option of using a live blade, but it does have some of these other options. We have wooden weapons, HEMA weapons, which are weapons meant to simulate um, real weapons, and they are used in historical European martial arts uh, events. And then we have synthetic weapons. Synthetic means plastic, basically. Um, then the wooden weapons, they mostly seem to be dowels. Let's mess around with the HEMA weapons. So we have these various characters. Ooh, and they're giving them... I haven't seen this before. I guess because it's in HEMA, they are giving them uh, HEMA gear. Ah, uh, yeah. There are a couple characters that are unavailable. This gentleman. And also this one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show off five, Father Zera. He's not one of my favorites, but... He does have some very unique mo movements. He's basically your drunken master in here. So I'm going to select him. And... Let's see... Marta! Who uses a... Looks like a cup hilt rapier to me. So you get to choose the type of AI that you're, fight that you're facing. We have passive, defender, maneuverable, and aggressive. I tend to go for maneuverable. Um, yeah, let's go for maneuverable. Uh, I'm noticing at the bottom of the screen we have logos, so it seems like they are sort of representing different uh, HEMA gear-making companies with this. So... <clears throat> You so you get to choose from a variety of locations. Um, some of them are quite open and spacious. Uh, some of them are pretty packed in. I'm actually going to go for the gymnasium because we're in HEMA mode. So this is the environment and the gear that you would see in a HEMA contest. I've turned down the volume of the music but kept the volume on the effects still at the same level. I don't think it'll be overwhelming. We'll find out. The soundtrack was overwhelming with how loud it was. Anyway, it says we're going to 30. I may stop before that. Ooh! I got a ding. Actually, they got me. So, you sort of automatically block in most cases. I have found that thrusting is difficult. You'll notice that Marta has signaled when I have gotten a hit. Yeah. You automatically block, I think, except for the thrust. So you can also go for long guard. You know, Sir Weapon was flexing there. Long guard pretty much sucks for defending strikes, but it's pretty good for defending thrusts. And also executing. Them. Right now, I'm, just, I'm not very good at these types of games. Well, I'm not very good at most types of games. Fighting games, I have an interest in fighting, but it's sort of new to me. Ah, she pushed my arm away. And that's something you can do. 
it's much easier to score with thrust, except again if you were in this long guard. Ooh, whack. Right in the face. So I've hit pause, and you can see I have these different options for, you know, right foot forward, left foot forward, different combinations. I like the sidestep thrust when you have the, the foil. I really like that. But that's the basic training mode. One of the basic training modes. Uh, go back to the main menu. That's one of the options. You can train with various tools. So these are some of the custom skins that are available for Laszlo. Pick that one. And not all of the characters come with custom skins. You can't get one for the Gideon? Alexander. I actually am familiar with the guy that they based his moves on. Uh, Damon Stith, I think his name is. He heads up the Historical African Martial Arts um, Alliance. And he's got his YouTube channel full of, you know, recreations and stuff like that. So let's actually choose this character. I have to confess, when I'm when I have two characters with similar weapons, it's actually pretty difficult. <laughs> uh, let's go with this more enclosed space. So because this is a more enclosed space, you can actually sort of drive your opponent to the edge. Um, as I was saying, when you have two similar weapons, it becomes much more difficult. Uh, there's a mode that I will show you in a little bit. All right, so they're both, they basically have dowels. So you'll notice that Alexander was motioning that Laszlo scored a hit to the head. There's another one. Again, your, your training partner will signal where you hit him. Now I'm using a, an Xbox controller here. Ooh! Scored a hit to the side. Uh, as you can see, Um, health bars for, you know, the, the head, the torso, the hips, right arm, right wrist, left arm, left wrist, um, right thigh, right leg, left thigh, left leg. I got in too close and tried to use a, a long guard. That was stupid. I thought I was going to be able to hit a thrust. Ah, there I did. Okay. So that's what the combat with the wooden weapons looks like. And again, most of them seem to look like dowels. Now, this is going to be my favorite mode. I'll be playing history buff mode in um, with the live weapons. The shark weapons. And you notice there are these flags above them that are white. Ooh! It's all bloody. You can change whether or not there's blood. I kept it in because the coffin is right. And um, in history buff mode, they will pick the ah, right, in, right in the chest. Like I said, thrust is really key. Here. You can land a good thrust that's usually a side ender, but the computer will pick both you and your opponent for these. So I think it's a good tutorial. Now so we, we both have a single red flag now. So this is scored one and one. We're looking for best for all three. And I got him again. And then it will give you this little history information. This character is Maria that I'm playing now. She's my favorite so far. Switch of stance. 
has good thrusts as well as cuts. So it's being pretty passive. There we are. Right in the hips. You just gutted him. And again, we have the, the health bars for... Oh, got him a little bit in the torso. Those don't seem to affect your opponent outside of... You see, that that's their stamina bar up at the top. And his stamina, or health bar perhaps, cannot be completely refilled now. Oh, right in the face. But wounds to the limbs don't really seem to affect um, how your fighter or the other fighter performs. So if you get a wound to the leg, it doesn't seem to affect the footwork. If you get a wound to your sword arm, it doesn't seem to affect the uh, father again, the fire. I really don't like him. I don't like using him. I don't like... Ow. So you got a wound in my arm there. I don't like fighting against him. Ow. Right in the head. Tis but a scratch. If it was a head wound, you see it didn't... The health bar for his head is almost gone. Oh. Until that one. I found one of the better tactics is to get in close and either have one of those short hits and or you can throw punches and kicks as well and then follow that up with a more major sword strike. That seems to be a pretty good tactic. And I do like the variety of uh, environment and arenas, I guess, that they have here. So you can reduce any one of those health bars to zero and it will win you the match. Or, it says overwhelmed. There was a strike to the torso and hips. It wasn't, neither one of those were reduced to zero. But I guess the cumulative damage was enough. The thing I found about the rapier users on here Maybe I'll get it. Yeah! Is that usually the thrust can kill? Like that. Because it was a powerful thrusting weapon. Um, but if you can only get bits and pieces of the limbs with cuts, it winds up sort of being death by a thousand cuts. It takes a long time. Really. Ow. In the hips. Yeah. Here's the thing. You can grab them and then finish them off. This is the closest thing we have to a fatality. But when you can land it, uh, you use the the bumpers to land cuts, or excuse me, to, to, to grab. And then you can finish it off with that, um, with that cut. You can also push. I'm not a big fan of his because his default stance has his arm, like, ow. Yeah, I went long guard there every time. The default stance has his sword crossed over him. Um, he's very simple to use. I say that just as I get my chest cut in half. But um, if he's one of those who can pretty much one shot you with a cut, he manages to get one. He just has a very awkward stance. Another tactic that I found somewhat useful is... Um, yeah. 
is when you are faced with someone in that sort of stance, to circle to the opposite side of their weapon. Because they can only... It makes it very difficult for them to, to land a good hit. Ah. Ooh. Those of those who are on the left arm, I'm not sure how I manage that. Now, range is very important here. You need to be at an optimal range in order to get your best cuts. You saw earlier when I was in close, um, with a long sword, I was getting these little draw cuts. Yeah! I just have a big head. There are a lot of things that I like about this game. Um, I like that it's uh, the the fighting mechanics. I mean, you can sort of be a button masher. And obviously, it helps if you're not. But you know, you can swing a sword, and if your timing is good enough, you can get lucky. Uh, there are many authentic, um, like East or historical European martial arts uh, fighting methods in here. I like the fact that we go to fists and feet when we get in close. Um, I think the inclusion of that grappling finisher makes for a very interesting tidbit. I'm really looking forward to the story mode. Uh, I like the various tools you can pick up for training. Um, I haven't messed with the online stuff yet. I like the environments. I just There's a lot to like about this game and... I'm looking forward to the finished product, but I've only been playing it for a day. <laughs> um, tip, have fun. That's on screen right now. Um, I'm really enjoying it, frankly. Um, there's a few more modes I need to go with, a few more characters I need to work on. But I think um, Maria and Alec... Is it Maria? Yeah. And Alexander are my favorites so far. Um, I didn't really get to show off Alexander here. I got my butt kicked by him. But anyway, um, yeah, I, I, I look forward to the day when they finish this up so I can get into story mode and really like get into these characters in addition to just using their avatars to fight. So if you are into realistic fighting games and or sword games, this seems like it would be really fun for you to play. That's all I have for this week. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week.